Welcome to Maximize Your Message, an innovative monthly series of short video clips that I'm going to be sharing with you to help you as PFP partners help maximize your message and marketing to the PFP readers. I'm Lindsay Bastola. I had the pleasure of serving as editor from 2011 to 2019, and I'm looking forward to giving you some insights to help you do exactly what PFP wants to do, helping fitness professionals prosper. We all know the secret sauce of effective marketing is knowing our audience even better than they know themselves, knowing their consumer behaviors, what they really want and what they really need, and then messaging that effectively. At PFP, one of the commitments on a regular basis is surveying the readership to be sure that the content stays relevant and timely, and then also to be sure that the products and services that you the partners in the industry, making sure that they align with the readership and what they want and need. In a recent survey, we asked some questions that were really telling, more so than just demographics, but really understanding their buying behaviors. There were three characteristics that stood out among the readership. The first one is that they are educated. 70% of the PFP readership are NCCA accredited, have a, a certification through an NCC accredited agency. 30% hold a bachelor's degree in a relevant field, and then 20% hold a master's degree or higher in a relevant field. They're engaged, our readership, they're constantly engaged in opening and learning. And from a spending standpoint on their education, upwards of 50% are spending close to $500 annually on their continuing education, 25% 25% are spending upwards of $5,000 a year. So that tells you some of the buying habits they're vested in their education. The second facet that we find um, that is a, a common theme in our readers is that they're career driven. Almost 50% of the PFP readership has been in the industry for 20 or more years. These are people who 60% of them are working 40 or more hours in the industry. So again, this is a readership, a subscribership, that is really vested in a lifelong meaningful career in the industry and not just simply as a hobby. The third factor is that they are decision makers. So 40% of the PFP readership are owners, managers, or directors. 45% of the readership are independent fitness professionals. So what this tells us is that the increase, as we see, of the more entrepreneurial-minded fitness professional as they're opening up their boutique studios or in their higher-level management positions, they're the decision makers. They're buying the continuing education. They're buying the equipment and the products. They're buying the professional services. So that's what makes a great alignment for PFP if you have those products and services. And those independent personal trainers, if the trend continues, they will also be potential business owners in the future as well. So the top three common themes among our, uh, the PFP readership, they're educated, they're career driven, and they're decision makers. So making sure that your messaging and your marketing aligns with these core common values of, our, of the typical PFP reader will help you maximize your message with the PFP audience. Stay tuned for next time. We'll dive into a lot more uh, into how to maximize your message in the industry and help everybody succeed. Thank you.